89.3 and 88.5 Yes FM. Online at www.yeshome.com. Now on the free Yes FM iTunes app and the Yes FM Android app or the free tune in radio app. Search Yes FM Lima. Another event coming to our area this Thursday at the uh, Huntington Center in downtown Toledo is a concert with uh, Skillet and also Third Day. And uh, on the bill as well is Peter Furler. And we have Peter on the line. Hello, Peter. Hi, April. How are you? I am well. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful morning. Now, are you on the road currently, or are you taking a little bit of a hiatus before you go out on tour with uh, Skillet and the uh, rest of the crew? Well, I, this will be my first tour in a couple of years um, at, at this level. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been nice to have a break. But, yeah, I'm uh, getting my road legs back. Looking forward to it. And uh, have you had the opportunity to uh, be out with, uh, say, like Third Day and Skillet, some of the bands that have been around for a while? Or uh, is this your first time uh, being out with some of them as well as uh, some of the newcomers on the, on the docket? You know, it's a bit of a mix. I've done uh, a ton of shows with Third Day. I did quite a few of them even last year, uh, just, just some, some one-off shows. And uh, Skillet, I was on tour with them with Winter Jam, 2012. So uh, it's going to be good to uh, see some familiar faces again. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, the show, as far as itself, I mean, obviously uh, going back out on tour, uh, do you feel like, uh, as far as what you, your band has to uh, bring to the table, is it going to be a little bit different than what we've seen before or some similar stuff? Or uh, how's that going to look? Well, it's kind of a little bit of both. It's completely different in some ways. We're a three piece band and uh, it's, you know, it's so to get three guys to make a lot of noise without using any um, enhancements and pre-recorded tracks, you know, we're a completely live band. So it's a lot of fun to for everyone to try and, uh, you know, carry their weight, so to speak. So that's a lot of fun. Um, playing some, I have a new record coming out called Sun and Shield. It's available in March, but deep folks can pre-order it now on iTunes. And uh, I'll be playing a couple tracks off of that. And then I'll also be doing some of the, uh, hits that I wrote uh, when I was with the Newsboys. Sure, and uh, tell people who are uh, who some of the guys of the, the Peter Fuller band are, um, because they're going to be familiar, of, uh, well, with at least one of them. Well, yeah, that would be Dave Gazarian. Sure. He was uh, he's been a hired gun and a you know a great player. Uh, he played with Super Chick and was one of the founding members of Super Chick for many years and one of the songwriters and. Uh, and also then went on and played with me for a while and then jumped over to Audio Adrenaline and played on their debut record with Kevin Max. And uh, and then now we're kind of back together again and we've got this band rocking. So it's been uh, good to have Dave back, a sweet guy. And, um, and Jeff Irizarry, who since I went solo about close to five years ago, Jeff's been playing drums with me and he's one of the most dynamic drummers on the planet. And you had, you had mentioned your new uh, album, Sun and Shield, which uh, we saw was available uh, March 11th is the release date, correct? That's correct, yeah. So tell us about uh, Sun and Shield. Is, is this different than the other solo project you put out, or is it it's more from you, or what's it, what's it going to sound like? What's it going to look like? Well, it's obviously, you know, me singing, so I can't change much of that. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's very, very, very melodic. Um, you know, I kind of like kind of pop rock. Um, but I think the sound's a lot different because it's a little bit more stripped back, you know, a bit raw um, as far as, you know, it's a little less, you know, it's just basically guys in the studio counting in the song and getting the best performance as, a, as opposed to any kind of software or computer enhancement, which goes on a lot. And uh, so it was just kind of really keeping to a certain amount of rules that way to make it. Uh, so fans would really just hear three guys in a studio as opposed to producers and a bunch of gear. And uh, as far as uh, content uh, lyrically with the music, is there a certain theme that kind of builds, or is it just some stuff that's been you know on your mind and you, know, you just put the best stuff together and, and away you go? You know, it, it is that. It's a, it's a little bit, you know, the song kind of comes and you, you get this idea, and, and uh, I've co-written... Uh, most of these songs with uh, Steve Taylor, who I co-wrote a lot of stuff with the Newsboys for. So there's that partnership that's been there for a long time. Um, you know, so we try to keep the lyrics so they're interesting and you have to dig 
a little as opposed to just being, you know, just a repetitive line over and over again. So it usually appeals to folks that like to kind of uh, dig a little deeper with the lyrics, but yet the message is clear, um, but the, it's kind of usually wrapped in a in a in something, you know, that's a little bit more uh, interesting sometimes to to dig through and find. You talked about maybe digging deeper. What are maybe some of the issues that uh, you're digging deeper with or some of the things that maybe even God has been showing you, you know, within the last year or two as you're, as, you know, you're writing this and working on this uh, that might come through in the music? It's a lot of practical things. You know, we, we, you know, my wife and I have really, in the last few years, actually maybe longer, you know, we the Lord really put it on our hearts to kind of simplify, you know, and uh, not be caught up in, you know, uh, the just the, the idea of how the world thinks to call success and, you know, and how, uh, you know, I think for us it's, it's, it's been a matter of just really, um, uh, you know, obeying the basic scriptures. You know, don't wear yourself out to get rich. You know, have the wisdom to show restraint. Um, and just following the words of Jesus, doing what he said. A lot of times we live in a culture where we, we have different news outlets, you know, we have the Republicans listening to one news outlet, the Democrats listening to another, but yet, as Christians, our job is really to, to follow the Word of God and to, to, uh, to just do what Jesus said, and so I think that's what we're trying to do, as opposed to get caught up in and be influenced by the culture that's around us, get be influenced by the Word of God and, and by the life of Jesus. How do you find... Um yourself doing that because I mean, that's something that we we hit upon here a lot is is countering the culture and you know uh, influence in, influencing the culture not letting the in, the culture influence us so so what are some ways that maybe god has shown you and and how to do that maybe a practical thing or you know a little bit more in depth it's really practical it really comes down to reading the words of jesus you know and and not just reading them but doing them and applying them to your life that's a huge thing and and letting that influence you more than your cell phone or your Facebook or your Twitter or CNN News or Fox News or whatever it is, uh, letting, you know, and even people around you. The Bible says, you know, um, don't be deceived, bad company corrupts good character. So we have to be careful what we let in our eyes and our ears. And I'm, I, I, when I say that, I don't say that in judgment of anybody except for myself. You know, I'm, I'm talking to myself and so... That's really what we try to do. Watch who we're listening to and watch the influences we're getting. Um, and I think that's, they're the practical things, you know. It's, you know, and there's so many great scriptures that are there that if we really look at them and just, and, and obey them, what happens is we don't obey them because we're going to get in trouble if we don't. We obey them because they're life. That's the path of life. And so when we follow them scriptures and do what they say, all of a sudden, incredible things begin to happen because they're, they're these laws that they're like gravity. You know, if you, if you uh, get on a tall building and jump off, gravity says it's a good chance you're going to get hurt. But if you obey that law, uh, then uh, there are greater blessings uh, that come your way. And you talked about working with uh, Steve Taylor. So got to ask this, um, where do you come in with the perfect foil? <laughs> well, that's 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 a good. I'm glad, Amy. You're you're sharp. You're up with it. So, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. That's a, a that's a band that we started when I finished up with the Newsboys. Um, I didn't feel like really doing much to do with music. I just wanted to take a break. And uh, well, Steve approached me, and and he was like, "Hey, man, we got all these songs that we haven't finished. What do you want to do with them? Why don't you put out a solo record?" And I was like, "Man, I, I'm just not into the solo thing." And I said, "Well, we'll record them if you sing it." You know, I said to Steve, and uh, Steve's one of my favorite singers and one of my favorite artists, and uh, he hadn't put out a record in a long time. And so we went into the studio and no record deal, no management, and uh, we just went in with, uh, uh, you know, a couple of friends, Jimmy Abeg, John Painter, guys that we respected, and we made a record. And so that's we're hoping to have that finished up shortly. So I'm the drummer in that band, and I love it. I love playing drums. I played drums on all the Newsboys records and was the original drummer for Newsboys, so it's in my blood. Yeah, and uh, we we were really excited about that. Uh, huge fans of, of Steve and he f- huge fans of yours, and it just kind of seems like it goes hand in hand. So, uh, looking forward to that. Um, have you gotten to see any of the videos that Steve has put out on the progress of the album? 
Yeah, well, I was I was usually the one filming some of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've, uh, I've been in the studio with them since uh, since the beginning. It's been uh, it's been fun just to take on that, and uh, it's very much a band project. Um, and uh, so it's been yeah, it's been right from the first first note. I've been there, and it's been just a a great again another great learning curve and a lot of great fellowship. You know, which is fun. We all get on really well and. It's it's really powerful when people agree on things and make music together. Certainly, I'm looking forward to that as as well as your new album. Hey, Peter, if uh, people wanted to uh, find out about your new album, uh, just see what's going on with you and the Peter Furler Band, or even uh, what you're doing with uh, the Perfect Foil, uh, what are some places that they could go to online? Probably the best thing is just to go to peterfurler.com. I'm on Twitter and Facebook. They can hunt me down there. And uh, the Perfect Foil is on Twitter. And so, uh, they, you know, that, that record is amazing. It's re- really incredible. It's groundbreaking. So uh, I you know, can't wait for folks to hear that, too. So it's exciting times. Absolutely. Well, we would thank you so much for uh, spending some time with us. And uh, we're going to look forward to uh, seeing you uh, tomorrow night here in Toledo at the Huntington Center. And uh, people can find out more information on the concert beat on our website. But, uh, Peter, before we let you go, is there anything specifically that we can be praying for you for? Um, you know, something I- that, uh, you know, you're just going through and... We want to support you. Well, you know, I think uh, for us it's traveling mercies. You know, we've got a lot of travel coming up, so that's one thing, and that's that's probably the first thing that comes to my mind. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and pray right now if that's cool with you. Yeah. All right. Dear Lord, we just thank you so much for Peter. We thank you for the Peter Furler Band. Uh, we thank you for his role uh, with Steve Taylor and the Perfect Foil, Lord, and uh, just just all the great things and the doors that you have opening, Lord. Uh, we pray for traveling mercies as uh, they're about ready to head out on the road uh, with uh, the tour with Skillet and Third Day and the rest of the crew, Lord, and uh, just that you watch over them, watch over their families, uh, and uh, just give them uh, peace and patience, and, and just watch over this tour as uh, they're going through, and we just pray that you would just speak through them, Lord. We pray that you would speak through uh, the, the projects that Peter has uh, got out and going to be putting out, Lord. We thank you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks, Amy. Appreciate it. And uh, looking forward to being in Toledo tomorrow. Hi, everyone. Look forward to seeing you. Absolutely. We'll see you tomorrow night. All right. Thanks, mate. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye-bye. Yes, FM.